Hi! In this video I want to show you how do I do the outlines in my renders because a lot of you have been asking me this is it some kind of shader or do I use Photoshop or something else to create these lines and my answer is no but I do use Autodesk Sketchbook which is similar to Photoshop but only for editing and modifying the lines created in Blender but later on that in this video so on this bunny I will demonstrate you how to create the lines Go to the rendering panel, scroll down until you find the freestyle and then put a check mark on it. Here you can set the line's thickness, which is 1 pixel by default, and I think it's a bit too strong, but anyway, let's create a render and see what happens. As you can see, with the freestyle option enabled, Blender will automatically create these back outlines, which gives you a good looking stylized render. And as I said earlier, the 1 pixel thickness is a bit too strong for me. I usually use something below 0.4 or 0.5 pixels, so change this value to 0.5 and then create another render. As you can see, with the lower values you will get thinner lines, which looks a bit better for me. And my advice for you is to don't go crazy with it, because you can easily ruin your final image. Ok, but what about bigger things like this one? I want to show you a trick that I usually do when I have some tiny details along with bigger ones. Because on the bigger ones outlines look great, like on the roof, but if you see the flowers it's a bit too dense because there are a lot of topology in one place. There is one thing you can do. Just go to the layer properties and search for freestyle and enable render as pass. What this will do is when you render your image you will have your outlines on a separate layer. For that, click on this drop down menu, select view layer and then you can save both the combined and the freestyle render on your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. For the next step we are gonna need an image editor software which offers you layered editing. In this case I will use Autoda Sketchbook which is also a free program. Let's open your composite image and then on top of that on a new layer open your freestyle render as well. As you can see they are perfectly matched on each other and then from now on I can do whatever I want with the lines and I can also change different blend modes if I want. So what about the small details? I can just select the layer I want to edit then pick a rubber brush and simply delete some of the lines that I don't want to see. So that's all what I usually do with freestyle. Go ahead and try it out for yourself and I hope I could show you something that you didn't know in Blender. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button and consider subscribing as it would really help me to grow this channel. Thank you guys and I see you in the next one.